So a really good morning here uh, for us. I like Oracle, but I think we watch the spy, so. what we should do today uh, simply because it's the best thing to do <clears throat> it's gonna go we're gonna fall today it's a nice read here it's happening perfectly so I'm debating how wide I'm gonna be with the stop here <laughs> That is the thing. Let's do 443. Thirty. I don't have the entry yet. Oracle has no volume, so that's off for now. 443.30. Let's do 55 by 30. Can't get a better stop than this. 55 by 30. It's going to go. There. Get in it right now. Get the stop in at 30. And we have a lot of targets today. We got 442. We got 441. 440 in the spy today is a real target. Not crazy. 440. I don't know what time it gets there, and I don't know if I'm holding it to there. Let's just get a one quick trade here, be in and out and done. Oracle's good. Oracle's lower. Oracle doesn't have any volume right now, though. Here we go. Spy, 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 spy. Uh, I did see the square. We can quickly look at it. Square is wiggly jiggly. Square looks like it opened late. Spy is the one to do today. This is the best gap. When we're done, we'll go over it if we have time. Don't want to get crazy today. There goes NVIDIA. NVIDIA, NVIDIA. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There goes NVIDIA. We could, have, we could have done this today. We could have revenge traded this today, actually. I think that's just a heck of a lot easier to do. Ooh. Heck a lot easier to do as an option. Not just because of the price point, but because it was so whippy yesterday. It's like a whip monster. It's tempting though. So tempting. See what Apple's doing. Apple isn't cooperating yet this week and still could be part of the issue with the queues, but it's not going to affect this, I don't think, today. But let's look. 932. Everything's out today that's going to be out. All econ is out. Wow, no volume in this Apple today either. Look. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, my charts are so slow. Or my internet. This is ridiculous. Okay. You must have 100% conviction. If you don't, you can't trade this market. You're toasty points. If you think the market's higher, you can't be short. You're toast. Because look what we just did. And look at yesterday. And look at the day before that, the day before that, the day before that. And I keep going back. You either have 100% conviction or you don't trade. Because you will get burned and you will lose money. And you will change your mind every second that you're in a trade and you're down. You will not believe in yourself. You will lose conviction in your trade, in your bias, in yourself. Then you will kill it. Then you will lose money. Then it will go on to work. And you will flip flop and go long and short every single day. So you must look at what's going on, make a determination, rate the gap, 
and proceed, <laughs> you know. And again, the video was hard yesterday, but if you did the option, we'll more than make up for it because this is gonna get ready to tank again any second. But I'm leaving this be today because it, it was a hard one yesterday. So we're in this. We have this stop at 30, which is a million light years away. You could even put it at 50. I don't think it needs it. So we just have to wait. Anything else going on? Anything else to do? BA fell into the close yesterday. Everything pretty much did. BA's backing up. Let's take a look at the rest of the things. Microsoft I like today. Microsoft we could do. Microsoft we could do right now. We could have done this. If we had, will we have been out? No. Well, we might have. I don't know. This was a dollar. Look. This was on my radar today, too. I might have got out of it. I don't know. It's hard to say now. We can still watch Microsoft. We can still watch Microsoft, and we're in this. Let's just take it easy today. One thing at a time, but I do like Microsoft. It's hard to believe anyone's buying this. And yet they are. So we would have done nothing today if we didn't have the market because there really wasn't anything to do and there was no earnings of any consequence last night. Uh, again, it could be a slow week except for the Fed meeting and then market-related picks. I'll look at what's out for tonight. 100% conviction and no chance of failure. The market's going to fall today. You either take this trade and you believe in it, or you step aside and wait and see how it plays out. See if I'm right. See if I'm wrong. But that's the whole point of taking risk and taking a trade. And we gave this pfft, such a big stop. We could give it another 20 cents. I really don't think it needs it. AZO I looked at, I didn't like, but I can look at it again to see if it did something different. It has absolutely no volume, and it also is $2,429 for one share. <laughs> so I don't, I did, <laughs> I wasn't, I didn't know if you really were serious about this, Greg. <laughs> You're not in this, are you? I mean, I did look at it, but I never trained this, but I looked at it because you mentioned it this morning, but it has no volume, and the spread is like, what is the spread exactly? The spread is about $26. <laughs> Greg, you're not, what could you do in this? You could do an option, maybe. I wouldn't even do an option in something that thin, though. That's the bugaboo. Market, 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 market. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You know what we're going to add? We're going to add at 442, 49. We're going to take more of this. We're going to bang this sucker out today. Oh, we could have done Microsoft. And if we had, we probably would have been out. But we could still do this here, but. Oh, yeah, let's look at it. Greg's reminding me. What's going on with this strike? The strike is still on. If it wasn't, we would have heard news. I'm surprised these things aren't tanking yet. Strike is still on. It's on, baby. Let's look at Ford. I'm surprised these haven't had a, a more of a negative reaction. That is unusual. Actually, these look just look like they're going with the market today. Open, lower, reversing right now. Nothing to trade in these things. I do find that interesting. Yeah, strange. We could have done that yesterday. Spy, spy. I think you always need conviction to trade because obviously you're risking money. But in this market particularly, and when I say this market, I say all of 2023, you know, all of 2023. It started, the year started out bullish. That made no sense to me. Bit me in the butt. Recovered. Focus, focus, focus. We went long, we went short, we went long, we went short. The longs are over. Kaputsi. 
Kaputsi with the longs. But there are still people here that are trying to buy this market. They're not going to survive. Time of the day is 9.39. I'm still watching Microsoft. So that would be 327.30. Still watching Microsoft. Should we give this 550? Just don't even think it's gonna, I don't even think it's gonna need it. I just don't want to get dinged out and have this go on to work. Let's put it at 443.50. New stop Microsoft, uh, not Microsoft, I'm sorry, SPY. And I'm still have my eye on Microsoft. SPY stop. So why did I think today would be easy? Silly me. <laughs> I do think we fall, but obviously it's 940. We're waiting. This isn't coming as easy as we thought. Why? People want to buy the dip. People want to buy the bit dip. People want to buy the dip. They're trying to buy the support. The support that we're looking at right in here. They're trying to buy it. Why is it not going to work? Why is it absolutely going to fail? 100% conviction will fail. Will fail today. I hope it fails soon. Biden's at the UN. And I have to go. I have an appointment Friday. When, I, when are they leaving? Traffic's terrible. Terrible on the east side. We did gap down, that's true. People are buying the support, but why am I saying that we're really lower? Talk it through while I'm looking to see what else is going on here. I didn't get any Microsoft yet, I'm waiting. Just talking out loud. 100% conviction. 100% conviction. Have conviction in what you do. 100% conviction and no chance of failure. The market's going to fall. You put the stop in, you take the risk, and take the trade. We've got to double check Oracle. That should have more volume. Starbucks is downgraded. We have to look at that. August housing starts sink. Well, we knew that. That's that. Nope, nothing new. Nothing new at all in the world. Wow, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful fall day, too. too. I want to be done fast. I want to go for a park walk. 100% conviction and no chance of failure. We are lower. We are lower. Boop, 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 boop. We gave him more room and we didn't even need it. Here we go. We're going to add under 50. Oracle, I'm going to look at. Wish there was something else to do, but there isn't. This is lower. We could have shorted this yesterday. I forgot about it. We looked at it. We talked about it. And then I forgot about it. We should have done this yesterday morning. We should have. We should have done it. So when are we home free? We gotta get some traction here. 944, we're basically flat. 
gap down and open what we're flat. Let's see where we open. We're starting to go red. We open at 442.68. We're basically flat. We gotta go red. We gotta fall. We gotta get down to 442. We're getting there. Gotta get some traction. Gotta get some fat reds. I think we're gonna fall off a cliff, and I, I hope it's today. But it could be tomorrow. We could still fall today and fall off a cliff tomorrow. Could be tomorrow with the Fed, but I'd rather it be today, actually. And I thought we were gonna fall off a cliff yesterday. And then we didn't. And then by a certain time of the day, you realize, well, that's that. And then you wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. And then we, we, we just pushed up, went nowhere yesterday, based out, sidelined all day. We didn't go anywhere the whole day from 11 o'clock until one o'clock, we went nowhere. And then we started selling off into the close. So it was a nothing burger day yesterday. No, there's no more data out. Anything that happens today is Whatever the Fed happens to say, any statements, anybody any says thing on TV, Biden may be talking today at the UN. There's no more economic data today. People speculating about the Fed for tomorrow is my guess what would be any news. We put this at 443.50, and we could even put it at 60. I mean, I just, it's, it held 30. I just, just gotta sit here and watch it. This is amazing. I thought it would be easy, <laughs> but it is going to fall. So we didn't do the ad yet, and if you didn't do it, you wanted to wait, you can. Let's see what else we got going on. So the only fast trade today was the Microsoft if we had shorted it and got in and out quick. That would have been a nice, fast, quick trade. And I, don't, I think I would have gotten out probably just because it's not earnings season, just because of the market, just because of everything here today. I probably would have done it and got quick out just to have a fast, quick trade. This is still lower. But again, right now the market isn't ready to break yet. It's trying. We didn't do the cues. We could. I don't know where I would have put the stop. Probably over 370. I did not want to do more than one thing today, and I'm not going to. So the SPY was the one thing that I really, really liked yesterday we watched. Watched it all day. Let's see what else is going on. Nothing. Dish, what happened with Dish. Stitch Fix was too cheap, it was down. We can look at that, but we're not trading it. This is rallying, I don't know why. Stitch Fix, it looks like it pushed back. Yeah, this pushed back. I didn't, we weren't going to do it. It was way too cheap. But the volume's there, actually. Look. That's like what happened to Jackie Square. Jackie Square is trying to go now. It's... You could do this here if you want. If you didn't do the spy, you could short this here with the stop. I put it at 50.90. A dollar. 90 by 90 if you want to do the square. Right in here, go for it. Go for it if you want it. Target's probably 47. That's tempting, but it's going already. This is very tempting, and by the time I decide, it's going to go. Jackie, there's your square. Are you doing it? Stitch Fix is worthless. I never thought it was a good idea. I just didn't think it was a good idea. Wearing somebody else's clothes. Oh, you did think it was a good idea? 
But you did do it. You did the trade. tempting here, but yeah, the spy is expensive. It's expensive and you could buy a put in it. It is pricey. It's been all year. Shows the Q's. Q's actually look weaker today than the spy. We're going to flop. We're going to flop. Like, like, this is not even, like, maybe. I've said it all morning. But I thought it would be easier than this. It's 9.50. We're sitting for 20 minutes. We're in the trade. We will fall today. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know where we go. But that's why I said you must have conviction. So, Apple's going. It's a certainty. I don't know what this thing's problem is. I have no idea. I've been waiting for this to fall again. It doesn't want to do it. Eventually it will. I don't know what this thing's problem is. Uh, this is tempting to do two trades in this. Should we do it? Crap. Let's do square two. Let's do square two. Put this stop at 90. It's a dollar ten from here. It's ridiculous not to do it. It's falling. No one's going to buy this. No one in the world's going to buy this. This isn't like the market. People are trying to buy the market, but the bears are coming in. This no one's going to buy. So do it if you want it. We'll scalp it, get out of something. Last minute decision. We're in two things now. I want to do a park walk. And now I'm in trades. All right, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to go over? I'm in two things. Let's look at what's out for tonight. we got to wait for these things to go. So it's a very tricky market. Why? Because nobody can agree on anything. Can't get two people in a room to agree on the Fed, inflation, interest rates, or anything else. It's one of the reasons you see so much indecision in the market. Uh, Royal Caribbean, let's look at. Nothing out tonight. We weren't going to do Greg's million dollar autos out. <laughs> General Mills is out tomorrow morning. We can look at that. Wow, tomorrow's September 20th, and then after that, it's fall. You can still do this if you want. This is, this is hanging on by a thread, but you can still do it. One push here through the low, it's going to go. If you want to still do square, you can. It's going to go. One day again. One day if we don't trade. Next week, maybe the following week, something. We'll rate the gap here in the market. We're not doing that today. Today could be a long day if you're in options waiting for this drop to situate itself. But one day, someday, in the next couple of weeks, we'll have a day we don't trade and we can rate this market gap. And that's what we should do. That's actually what we should do, really. We're going to fall. It's like, I've been saying it all morning. But you could easily not believe me because of the way we pushed back 17 times. But this isn't, a, like, I, I even, I did a webinar last night, and we rallied. We were green when I was talking, and I said, this, we're weak. <laughs> so I, I knew the market was weak yesterday, even though we were green. I was sitting here waiting to short it all day. <laughs> so, there we go. Sometimes things take longer than you think. And Oracle is good. Oracle is good. Square. Let's take a look if Microsoft is ready. Not yet, but it's going to get down. Squarey. Anyway, Stitch Fix, 
I didn't think it was a good idea because you're buying outfits. It gets shipped to your house. Then you return it. Then somebody else is getting that clothes. You could say, well, it's kind of like a department store. You go into the department store and then you try on clothes that somebody else tried on. I get it, but they didn't wear it. That was the part that I didn't, I don't know. I didn't know exactly how it worked because I never did it, like to read between the lines, but people could be wearing the clothes, then returning it. There was something about that that mm, wasn't crazy about that idea. There's too much, and there's also too much returning, Jackie. People are spending money, then they're returning. Then they get a refund. Then the company didn't make any money. Like, do you know what I mean? And it is a pain returning stuff that you order online that's clothing. I mean, I do that. I've been doing it. It's easier to go to the store, though. It really is just is. You try it on. You see if it fits. You don't buy it if it doesn't fit. Whereas sometimes you're like, okay, I think I might like this. And then you buy it. And then it doesn't fit. Then you got to return it. Then you got to call and get the label. Then you got to put it on. Then you got to go to the place. I mean, here, actually, they do come pick up. They do come pick up, except for the post office. I have to walk into the post office, or the, the doorman will do it, and then they charge me to walk it. You don't like the idea. Yeah. Okay, target and square is 49 or anywhere close to it. Or if we're in the spy and we get out of the spy with money, we'll just get out of this with money once it breaks. Spy should help that to go. Let's look at the banks. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? Beautiful day here in New York. Can't wait to get out for a walk. Wanted to take a walk this morning after the room. We'll see what time I can get a walk in. I want to feel the crisp air. JPM is up. I don't know why. Goldman is up. I don't know why. Spy. 100% conviction. I'm going to make a, I'm going to draw a picture and it's called 100% conviction. <laughs> and it's going to look like a big pile of cash. <laughs> That's what it's going to look like. It's going to look like a million dollars. There you go. Who's in the trade? Who's in the spy? Who's in the day trade? Who's in the puts? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Man, I called trade so late yesterday, you had to know what I was thinking today. If you were in the options newsletter and you got the trades I called, I called those trades so damn late, there was no way you could get out of them yesterday. You knew my bias for today as soon as you got those trades. Is it up? Melissa thinks we're gonna be down tomorrow morning. Boom! You're in all of them, Greg. Greg's in all of them. Let's see if anything else is going on. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I don't know. Is Biden going to talk today about anything that could screw something up? Because they are at the UN. Okay, of course we're in square now and it looks like it's not moving. <laughs> okay. We could have done the cues and the spy. This looks like it's gonna fall off a cliff any second. Here we go, spy. <laughs> Shit, I forgot to add. Here, we can add right now. We can add right now. I forgot to add at 49. Damn it. I was thinking about the square. There. You could take more of this right in here if you want it. It's still close to where we were. Close to our original. Take it if you want it. If you didn't do it, you could do it. 442 in a flush. Boom. Target for this buy today is 440. And then where do we go after that? It's going to depend on tomorrow. Because normally I'd say here, 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 and here. But again, we have the Fed tomorrow. It's not till the afternoon. We got 24 hours to go until that meeting even takes place. So who knows if we have a massive move to the downside today? I'd love it. I'd love it. I'd love it. 
but will we? I don't know. So again, tomorrow is two o'clock or whenever he's talking. It's a long time away. It's more than 24 hours. So that's the thing. Square is a snail. So if I get a big flush and spy, I might kill the square. I don't know. This square isn't moving since I did it. It's been in a range of 10, 15 cents. Here it goes. There's Microsoft. Q's. Q. Q. So the one thing we haven't been trading, because it hasn't been setting up right, is Tesla. We can look at it here today, but it just hasn't looked good to me. This is like the opposite of NVIDIA. I pulled up NVIDIA Friday. I said, oh, it's going to fall. Tesla, I pulled up yesterday. I said, eh. Let's look at it today. It was a nothing burger, but it does have volume. It's probably red with the market. Let's look. Microsoft's good. Microsoft is still good. We would have been done for the day if we had done Microsoft though out of the gate. The spy is the best trade though. Spy is the one. Let's look at this and it's taking forever. Wow, my internet must be so slow. Or it's the charts. So this is falling, yeah. Tricky today here rallied first, but this is lower. I just, I'm not crazy about that. Okay, what are we doing with this? Here we go. Shelly, I hope you're in the spy. Shelly, are you here? Shelly, are you here today? I see you. Shelly didn't do the NVIDIA. Hope you did this. <clears throat> so this is this is a nice call. Give, a, give yourself a round of applause if you did it and waited for 15 minutes for that ugly green taily bar and stayed with the train and stayed with the conviction. Here we go. Here it goes. Again, I don't know why this is happening other than that I knew that it would. We get out of this. We get out of this right here. We can call it a day right here. Here, here. Let's watch it down to 441. Here, one more push in this. We're going to get out of this day trade. Let the options drop. One more push, one more push, one more push. Come on. Then I might just kill the square. 54. Then I can go for a park wall, come back, and the market will be a huge Megalodon red bar. That would be gorgeous. It would be wonderful. Fifty four. One more push, one more push, one more push. Come on, don't you dare go over 70. I don't want this to go over 70. Here we go. Here we go. New air, 52. It's, it's moving so fast, you can almost not even see it. No, I thought it hit 52. It was 54. I swear I saw 52. Let's go. You can get out of this right here, though. You could. Don't want this to go over 70. Okay, now it's lower, though. It's hard to hold it, but it's lower. Here, it's a good trade right in here right now. We did the ad just at the right time, too, because I wouldn't be doing it here. It's like a square. Square is a snail. Hand to the bun here for spy. One more push on the spy. And I might just kill the square. Boom! Do, 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 do. Here, here, look, beautiful. Woo! Ow! Oh, done. Nice day. And again, 440 today in the spy. 440. But it's easier to hold the options. 
great job. Just let it rock and roll. Now let's look at this square and figure out what we're doing. We're back to normal, fast trades. Gosh, so nice. This holding stuff has been ridiculously stressful. Um, this. Uh, what if I should just kill this? This should be falling with the market. It's not. I, I do think it's slower, but I don't want to sit here and wait for this for 80 cents. What should we do? Any questions? So we get one more push in this. Get out and make a little bit. Or I'm going to kill it, I think. Any questions about this buy? Any questions about anything at all? Everyone should be up. Nvidia. You gotta give it give it some time. Apple reversed. Q's are going. Microsoft's going. I think I'm gonna get out of this square. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? What a good day today. Let's have a good day tomorrow.